Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to another round of 20 Minutes Till Dawn. So, I said I want to do a revolver run, and I still do, however, uh, we're going to keep chipping away at this grenade launcher. Oh. Wh whoa. Those seismic wards are different from what I expected they would be. That's actually... okay. I thought they just summoned on the ground. Seismic ward is, like, really good. I want to try this. Oh. I wonder if the reload damage doesn't work in this situation. I have no idea. Uh, let's see. So what do we want to do on this run? We want to go for vitality. I've switched up my perks. I uh, did some off-camera grinding. Grabbed some other things. Okay. Oh, it's when I start reloading. Or not. Or maybe it's on my last shot. You know, I can't manually do it. That's got to be it. Okay. So I want to get... Uh, reload would be nice, but we're going to get double shot in here. So last time I tried this, we tried piercing, and that didn't work so hot. This time around, I'm just going to try and go for overwhelming firepower. And not the biggest explosions I can possibly get. I might go for that later on. I might not have a choice later on. Uh... But right now, I think it's better that I get very quick reload speed. And a couple other things. Pyro's not that helpful. Split fire. Yeah, we'll get split fire. Because to some degree, what I want to do... Is... Yeah, not surround myself too much with explosions. Have a fairly, like, chunky, high damage build. We want quick hands. Reload speed is going to be uh, what saves me. Because my explosion radiuses, radii aren't that huge. We'll probably want magnet range just so I don't have to add, uh, worry about it in the slightest. But we want to just go for big chunky hits. I was hoping for some more knockback. That might be something we want to go for. So let's go for this. Because I don't think there's a whole lot of things that actually affect my my knockback, per se. Ow. Yeah, the one issue is with stuff like the Seismic Ward. Much as I like the idea of them, and they're not bad, though I'm not sure how good they are in the long term. Uh, let's see. Shooting at last ammo. Let's do this. They do have a tendency of knocking enemies into me, which is kind of rough. There we go. So yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stick around and try and be relatively aggro, but in a small space. Let's see. Big shot, splinter, fuse light. Okay. So that's a lot of damage in a very small space. I just mostly have to make sure I don't blow up myself with any of these. Because if an enemy is too close to me, then I'm in trouble. Uh I wish, I wish, there was a alt perk for glare. Now, let's see, anger point would be solid, but let's go rapid fire. We do not want bounce. Bounce would be hilarable. Hilariously terrible. Oops. Maybe not a big deal, but probably problematic enough. Now, if you see the magic dagger go by, I'm grabbing it. Just because that's that's big bonus damage that I can just let loose and not worry about. <sighs> I don't know if we need stuff like Frost Mage is the issue. Later on, we will. Right now, yeah. No, we want to go for Magnet Range. Okay. Yeah, the other thing I can do is try and have just large quantities of grenades around... Oh, there's the boss. What? I have no idea. Doesn't really matter. We have enough healing. Oh, I'm hitting myself. That's what's going on here. I'm walking into my back shots. Oh, that's okay. Let's do armed and ready for some extra max ammo. I could try and go... I'm confused by this. Okay. 
That was my bad. Unfortunately, the enemies blend in really well, so it makes it a little tougher. Okay, diamonds at, at or below half max HP, piercing and knockback, which is kind of... It's kind of good bad. The only immediate problem is that means that... Uh, we have piercing. I don't know, there's other perks I would have rather had. Gun mastery. Getting that this early on is actually kind of huge. Maybe. It definitely means I can shell out some more shots. The only immediate problem is... Out. I am on death's door. It feels like some of these explosions kind of trigger late. I don't know. Man, I don't know. Make it work or I'm dying. I think the main problem is that specific diamond perk is not my favorite. And the, the piercing we've kind of established is actually pretty useless. Let's see. On the plus side, I can just kind of... I can just kind of shell in an area. The only immediate problem is then I cannot walk in that direction. Because I am going to die. Uh, light weaponry. Perfect. We want some of that other stuff. Yeah, the whole kind of backshot deal really does limit my movement in a bad way. I'm still thinking the extra fusillade is fusillade. I know it's not fusillade. Let's see. Yep, died. The back shot. Ah, it's rough. Like we had some things, but I don't know. I there's got to be there's got to be a way to grenade. Maybe we take a look at some perks though. I think I'm going to give up on the seismic. Those weren't as good as I had wanted. So let's go back out to main main menu. Let's take a look at our runes for a hot second. There's got to be a way to do this. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let's switch away from these. We do have elemental shields, which isn't great. I'm going to just grab momentum. We have healing. We have this glass cannon. After shooting your last ammo, deal damage to all nearby enemies. Okay, so we do have that. Let's see. Gun glyph would be interesting. I've got to try that. I feel I feel like that would be really good on the revolver build that I was kind of talking about, but we got to leave that for later. Fire rate and reload. I could go for the bullet damage. We don't want cadence. Ethereal's or ethereal dedication isn't that good. I don't know. We'll see. Let's keep trying. And I'll give this like one or two more failures. And we'll go from there. I think part of it is there's a much, much better diamond perk than the one I had. You know, piercing is, is as we've seen, kind of, kind of really terrible if you're using the grenade launcher. I think I might skip back. Sh uh, I, I don't know if I have a choice is my big worry here. Because backshot prevents me from going in the direction I'm shooting. And so if I clear a direction, I can't go that direction because there's enemies in the way. You know, fanfire is probably safer because then I can clear an area, but I don't have to worry about it too much. Yeah, let's go for double shot. We'll see what happens. Honestly, what I want to some degree is actually like really bad spread if I can get it. Because the slight damage loss on grenades from uh, split split shot and fusillade and whatnot, you know, fusillade, uh, those aren't so bad. But yeah, I think I'll have to stay away from piercing. Split fire is no good. Vitality uh, is tempting, but we'll skip that. Oops. Want nothing to do with those. But yeah, especially if I have higher ammo. Woo. If I have higher ammo counts, it shouldn't be too bad. We definitely want to grab that max uh, or 
that movement speed if I can. And to a lesser degree, the magnetism. We'll need the magnetism. I say as we get magnetism. I might also want to look into healing. I do have two perks that give me healing already, so I don't strictly need heal heals at the moment. But I will. Okay. Reduces bullet damage, but gets me more projectiles. It'll be worth it. There we go. I think. It'll be worth it once we run into enemies that can survive more than one grenade at once. Right now it's completely useless to me, but it will be better later. And it still spreads out how far how far I can hit, which is important. There we go. The other reason why I want to reduce bullet damage a little bit is it makes my, I think it makes my explosion smaller. There we go, which we kind of need. So kill clip, absolutely. There's a couple others like ghosts, the ghost friend that might be kind of fun. Uh, just to give me some passive kill. But, I don't know. Let's see. Just skip it a little bit. Yeah, currently I'm fine, but I definitely need, like, more fire rate and some other things. Recharge. Extra pickup radius. EXP has a chance to refill ammo. And recharge is solid. And then excitement is really pretty good. Fresh clip is okay. Let's go with this. The less I have to recharge or reload, the better. Because it's very easy for me to get surrounded and overwhelmed. This isn't like uh, some other uh, bullet, uh, bullet heavens where you really can just kind of avoid enemies. Okay, light weaponry. This this one you actually... Uh, trying to run for the gaps just means you get herded forever. You might be able to do it. Okay. So what do we got? Increase fire rate and reload rate permanently every time you get hit. Rad. Hi. So that's pretty great. And is exactly what I was looking for. The other one with a pierce is, like, terrible. Maybe I could make it work if it's uh, one of the later perks I get. But not great now. Summon damage, plus 40%. Yeah. I'm not too reliant on the daggers, but three upgrades to have flying daggers that just go around just beasting things for me. Very useful. There's a couple of things that would actually be super worth it, and I'd love to mess around with them. Uh, let's see. But that'll do for now. Like, I'm thinking increasing their speed tremendously could get really fun. Okay, penetration. We've tried heavy weaponry. We know that one's kind of rough. Okay. I'm curious about... Uh, let's see. Was it Reaper Rounds? Whatever the one that makes it so I have pierce but only on kill. I think that could actually be a really good compliment. May maybe. Let's see, enemies explode into bullets. That seems risky. No, I think I have to stay away from Reaper rounds. Big shot I could probably go with, but the other ones not so much though. Uh, let's see. So we could do watch and learn, frost mage, or pyromage. Uh Let's go Frost Mage. Not that it's particularly helpful here. You know how many enemies I'm going, going to be freezing? Very few. And then eventually it's going to be like all of the leeches. And that's when we're really going to need it. Luckily, we do have explosive rounds, which, you know, makes for an easier time. Okay, Fresh Clip, Frostbite. That's the other reason why I want to go Ice, even though it's like not particularly amazing. I guess the uh, the one benefit of the frost is the enemies I kill 
or not kill uh that that reload you know bullet nova uh those those will freeze enemies because they don't do enough damage but that gives me some much needed time to survive and kind of get some shots in the right spots okay There we go. What? There's a heart? That's different. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. But yeah, maybe we grab Splinter. Maybe Splinter was a mistake. Yeah, you know how I was talking about... Getting myself stuck on things. That one's huge and a problem. Uh, let's see. Rage, elements, elasticity. All of these are bad. Rage does give me more max ammo, but it hurts my damage pretty bad. And it gets rid of my knockback, which is arguably worse. I'm really curious, though. I, I got to give it a shot. I think this was a terrible, foolish thing to have done. Eh, maybe not. I don't know. I mostly wanted this spread. But yeah, if I can shoot the gap... Because those little explody things aren't too bad. I see Ice Shard, kind of tempting. No, we want Vitality. And yeah, I'm going to be taking some damage here. But maybe it won't be so dire. Whoop. All right. Well, this is definitely gone edge of our seats now. But benefit is, I have healing, and uh, let's see. We don't want penetration. We do want rapid fire, because I think I want to do rapid fire, light bullets, and then siege. Ice shard would be nice, but I'm not uh, reloading that much. Shatter would be lovely. Uh, let's see. Anyway, so what I was going to say is I have healing and I benefit from taking damage. So as long as I don't self-harm too much here, I can just kind of stand around just absolutely demolishing things. As long as I don't get shot from behind by an enemy. Because that could go kind of bad dark. Whoops. Whoops. Yeah. It gets a bit rough. Light bullets. Ooh. There we go. It's kind of fun watching them popcorn out. But yeah, I never should have picked, picked that up. I was thinking, well, maybe it won't be so bad. I do feel like this is the answer if I want to go for a really fun grenade launcher run. However, uh, she gets dire fast. Okay. Yeah, I think what I need to do is kind of run for a while. Let's see, run for a while, grab as much EXP as possible. Let them stack up a bit. The only immediate problem is it's very easy to get surrounded in a bad way. Let's see, penetration is a problem. Recharge. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, recharge is kind of huge. Don't stand next to the death grenade. If, if... I can kind of survive this. I'm going to be in a decent spot. Because we have hella clusters of enemies. I just have to go until I heal once. And then I have way less to fear. I'm dead. I mean, maybe not. 
Oh boy. I ate tree. Damn. Yeah, so the answer is do not, do not go for the spread shot, uh, spread fire. I might actually, who knows? I might be able to get a grenade launcher win here. We need that, uh, we need a good perk. It cannot be the piercing one. That's just death. Uh, and I cannot get anything like piercing or the, uh, when enemies die, they drop a ton of grenades. I was mostly thinking of that in terms of freezing enemies because it would be kind of nice if the little uh, grenades fly out and like froze enemies or set them on fire or something. Bad idea. I think the reduced knockback wasn't bad. Because uh, once again, if you get freezing, you don't really need knockback. I love the idea of it, especially if there's ever like a physics build that lets you uh, smack things. Let's see. Other thing would be like kind of pickup range is actually really good on this one just because I have to spend so much time running. I really wish glare scaled slightly based off of player damage. I feel like that could get real fun. Okay. But yeah, let's go let's go double shot. We know that much. The shot nova on reload is not bad. It's not great. I wish there was another option. Like if the uh, butt grenades home, uh, homed in on enemies, that would solve so many of my problems. There we go. Let's see. Oh, there's the summon damage. Recharge would also be really good. And take aim was kind of fine. There we go. I don't know. Nice part is we do have healing, so I can take a couple of errant hits if I'm not paying attention or if, you know, I get clobbered too much or surrounded. Uh, let's see. Power shot is good, but let's go vitality. Because the more healing I've got kind of in my pocket, the better. I do really wish there was a homing. like upgrade path. I feel like that would be really busted, but maybe worth it. Okay, so we want to get Frost Mage, but we want to get Frost Mage later. So let's go rapid fire. There we go. And then we definitely, definitely need the reload perks if we can get them. And there is the option that I could go for the full reload speed build. Uh, the one where I do full damage to enemies around me whenever I fire my last shot. Like that, that perk seems like it's going to get really good uh, for certain builds. And in fact, I want to do a revolver build that is just that. So, fanfire for fusillade, pro fusillade, maybe. The one thing I could also consider is just not. Not even bothering with uh, fanfire and not going for fusillade. Fusillade? You know, just trusting that two grenades are kind of enough. Anything more is kind of overkill. Um. Which, you know, it's not the worst idea. The main problem is getting surrounded. The more grenades I have out, the, the more havoc they cause. There we go. Oops. Okay, we need those reload speed perks. Otherwise, we're going to continually have issues here. Not huge ones, but they're going to be there. Okay. Do we go giant? Giant is funny, but probably, probably problematic. Heavy weaponry is... We've tried it, it gets dicey. It's great now, it's just bad later. I think we actually, we want to go for Pyro just for the uh, extra healing. Because the more the more healing I can pile onto this build, the better. Because once this guy shows up... There it is. Okay. Yeah, the... Uh, Hopefully we get one of the, you know, on damage X 
perks. Please don't be the useless one. It's the useless one. Hmm. Ah, you know what? I'm just going to make it work. We'll see what happens. Quick hands. I was like, do I just restart? I I really feel like it should give you uh, two choices there. I get it. I get why. No, I don't get why. Because I, I would love to see more character perk choices, and that one is at least easy to ignore. Because um, all I have to do is make sure that I don't drop below 50% 50, 50 HP. Problem is, if I do drop below 50% HP, it pretty much is going to put me on a death spiral, and I don't like that. I almost kind of wish that, that you could like turn that perk off when you have the grenade launcher. Like, a little bit of nitty-gritty, like, holy shit, this is actively bad. Uh, Anti-synergies are not that common in these games, but having the ability to specifically say, like, no, I don't want that would actually be kind of huge. Oh, let's see, so watch and learn. Yeah, we want the pickup range. Yeah, the other option we could do with this, which wouldn't be the worst, would be uh, a heavy reload build. Instead of having large quantities of ammo, just having uh, really, really fast reload speed. It works better on the crossbow, in my opinion. Uh, let's see, but I don't know. There we go. I still wish the piercing on the grenades did full damage. Because I still think a slug thrower build would be really fun. But no, it does like partial damage on pierce, which is bleh. Okay. Give him the nades. Show him to next Tuesday. Didn't kill him. Fine. Give him one of those. Okay, what else do we have? Anger point, anger point. Okay, he dead now. Perfect. At least I got lots of health. So, I don't know. We'll maybe make it work. I just know there's always a certain point where you get kind of... You start getting surrounded and there's almost no escaping it. I was playing Brotato the other day. Uh, which, you know, very much kind of mirrors this game's develop development in a lot of different ways. Uh, let's see, do we want to get Firestarter? Kind of. I think I want to get Kill Clip, though. Because the reload speed is that much more crucial for this character. So movement speed is not the worst idea. Ah, Tome of Power, though. This one's tough. Piercing one, but gives me 50% extra bullet damage on 100% more bullet size. I mean, otherwise we could do Tome of Speed. I haven't tried Tome of Speed. Like, we could, we could try and throw in blazing speed here. And just run gaps. Because I'm so used to getting surrounded, but if I'm so fast that the enemies don't have the chance to encircle me. And then I just shoot for the, you know, the densest mass of units. That more or less is following me around at all times. That could solve my problems. Uh, let's see. Do we want intense burn? I... Probably just because I have no other choice. And yeah, eventually I'm probably going to get surrounded anyway, and I have no choice but to deal with that potential outcome. Obviously, I'm still going to take some damage here. But it'll probably be less the faster I am. Especially if we invest in blazing speed. Which, I mean, haven't done. Could try. It just always struck me as kind of one of those like weird niche things that doesn't really have a build associated with it. So you pick it up and then you're kind of like, I mean, that's nice bonus damage unless you're doing something real weird. Uh, 
it pretty much doesn't be benefit you in the slightest. When you freeze, you also burn. I mean, it's nice. Probably nicer than any of these. The one question would be like, glare? Oh, interesting. Hmm. I'm curious about if sight magic applies to the explosion. Probably not, but you never know. But no, none of these affect my, my pickup radius. So let's go Frostfire just because. Eventually, we're probably going to need it. What I want is movement speed. More so than anything else. Ow. Ooh. My own knockback is kind of rough. Eh, there's a couple of things that actually would be pretty handy. Because we definitely want the one that heals me on setting enemies on fire. It's a small chance, but it's good. Uh, let's see. None of these are that good. Alright, we're going glare. We're going to just throw it in the mix. It pro probably only does like four or five damage though, which is kind of iffy. But yeah, if there was like a uh, alternate glare perk that would show up very rarely that slows enemies down based on uh, if they're in your vision range, that would be kind of huge. Maybe busted. Oop, this is a mistake. We really need running gun. At least they come in kind of in waves. And there are gaps that I can run for. There we go. I don't know. Glare's weird. If there were more perks associated with it or characters that synergize well or ways that you could get it to apply burning or bullet effects or a freeze or a slow, then I think it would be, like, monstrously good. As it stands, it's just a little questionable. Okay, what do we grab? Fireball? Firestarter? Yeah, we want, we want Firestarter. Well, credit where credit is due, that uh, movement speed is saving my bacon more so than practically anything else. Because these enemies cannot handle uh, speed particularly well. My big issue is some of these gaps get a little toasty. So do we want to get power shot? I think so. Soothing warmth is tempting, but currently I'm full health. So I think we want to go for oomph. Anything to make my explosions just a little bit bigger would go a very long way. Also, double dagger wouldn't be the worst. How the hell did I not get hit there? I have no idea. And yeah, like I said, some, uh, like, blazing speed or whatever would also be banger. Let's grab all of this. Now, I do have... Yes. I do have the ability to freeze now. And I didn't get surrounded. Which is a surprise. Uh, let's see. Pickup range? Absolutely. Because my goal here is, to some degree, to be able to shoot on the run... Not reload that often and just kind of demolish things through high firepower. Normally I use ele uh, elemental effects to kind of win, but this doesn't feel like uh, that would work that hot just because. My fire rate is constrained. But on the plus side, as long as I'm not getting like too surrounded here. We're okay. The main problem is these guys are 
Oh, a fair bit bigger. And also a very good uh, means of highlighting why glare is kind of completely useless. That's why I want blazing speed. I don't think I'm going to be able to get through this crew. If we had a different perk, you know, one of the good ones, uh, this wouldn't be so bad. So, big shot, we gotta go big shot. Reason being, I I just can't hit enough of them. You know, with the little guys, you can hit a, a host. But with these big bruisers, they, um... You're only hitting a handful of them. Okay. There's the boss in there, who I very much would like to kill. Ow. Ow. Okay. Gotta chill. Pick up all this leftover EXP. Yeah, they're uh, remarkably faster than you'd think. Also, the enemy is shooting at me. Become problems. I do not know how much HP that boss has, but it's a lot more than I'd like to deal with. All right, seven minutes. Yeah, the other the other uh, crazy wild option that I kind of sort of don't have, but could do is um I could just run but I think after a certain point you get surrounded so monstrously that uh what are you gonna do about it okay I don't see the boss anymore oh there they are I'm not gaining EXP either. I'm gaining a little bit. Oops. This is where things get dire. I mean, nice part is piercing wise is not too bad, but it gets six minutes. I don't know. I could try running. Oh, wait, no. But the freaking eye laser dude is just going to kill me. Yeah, what we desperately needed was the other perk that increased my fire rate. And, uh, well, let's go Soothing Warmth. We'll see what I can get. Well, I healed a smidge. But I'm dead. Yeah, the, uh, the diamond perk that gives me the piercing. And, uh, <laughs> and the knockback when I'm below half health. That's real good on a bullet weapon build. Complete trash on the grenade launcher, and it uh, sunk. I'm not gonna say the whole run, but uh, if I could have leveraged my healing um, with very selective self damage, I could have very slowly made it so that my reload rate and fire rate were obscene, uh, and that would have changed a lot of things. But alas, I might have been able to outrun some of them. But even then, you get to the point where you get the I beam enemy, and then it just doesn't matter. Because, uh, we didn't run into it, but it would have put me in a laser cage and probably killed me. Unless you can escape through the laser cage. I've never, I have never tried that. I have no idea what happens, but I'm pretty sure you die. Either way, grenades are really hard to do. At some point, I'm going to do them. I'll, I don't know. I'll look it up or maybe actually pay attention to some comments. Tell me what I should be doing. For now, though, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.